So today I logged into my Minecraft world and discovered that Bessie and her team of scientists created a super dog. Yep, you heard me right. A dog with superpowers. I didn't even know that was possible. Look at it, it's so floofy. Now, honestly, I didn't believe it at first, but after I started training this little tiny super dog, it got bigger and stronger and bigger and even bigger. Be sure to watch until the end of the video to see just how massive super dog gets and also be sure to subscribe or else super dog might eat all your cookies. What's going on, Steve? How we doing, Jeff? Why is Arnold inside of the test chamber? I don't really care, honestly. Hey, Bessie, what's going on? Guys, Bessie gave me a call recently and told me there is a super important experiment going on. Uh, Bessie, why is there a little tiny baby wolf in the testing machine? She wants me to go over here and read this book called Super Wolf. These past few days, I have been experimenting with wolf DNA. When combined with superhero genetics, wolves have a chance of becoming super wolves. I think I've managed to create one. I need you to train this wolf and see if it has any abnormal powers like super strength, super speed, or any other abilities. If you can manage to keep it alive, you can have it as a new pet, little Bessie! Yo, -ho -ho -ho. I would love a super wolf. Now, at the moment, it appears to be just a normal wolf, but if you guys go ahead and leave a like on today's video, Bessie will activate the testing chambers, which should hopefully combine the superhero genetic DNA with the wolf DNA. Go ahead and try it out in three, two, one, super wolf. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's working. Are you alive, Wolfie? Hello? I swear if I accidentally kill the wolf, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep for a week. No, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, little guy? Okay, I don't have any bones to feed you. You like cooked pork chop? Whoa, all right, all right. He has merged into my chest. I think he might be able to walk through actual physical objects. This is definitely a super wolf. Okay, he just, he jumped on my head. Come here, little dude. I need to name this guy. If you guys do have any other name suggestions for my brand new potential super wolf, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Now, Bessie did mention that she wants me to train this super wolf to see if it does have any other powers and abilities. So, little dude, I'm gonna, okay, yeah, you can just merge with my shoulders again. Let's go head up back to the top. I definitely need to go introduce super wolf to all the other wolf pack members. What's up, everybody? We got a new wolf in town. I know it's already kind of crowded in here, but I mean, who does not love a brand new little tiny puppy? Other than Twig. Twig gets very jealous. Now, all of my previous wolves have been technically super wolves. All of them have insane powers. I'm able to ride on their backs. They have fire abilities, poison abilities, and super strength. But Bessie has told me today that if I do this correctly, our brand new super wolf will be stronger than all of them combined. Inside here, we have training challenges. Let's start it out super simple with a nice little tiny cave spider. Whoa, okay. Super wolf only has 10 health, but is annihilating that cave spider. That's a good little wolfie. Let's try again with a zombie pigment. Okay. Oh my gosh, you just did eight damage down super wolf, buddy. No. <laughs> He was so young. I do not like your face, you ugly. Dude, why you gotta do that to Super Wolf? I will avenge you, Super Wolf. Wait, guys, where did Super Wolf go? What? What in the name of what just happened? All hail Super Wolf. Were you just playing dead? Is that an ability? Is that like a superpower? I will call you Possum Wolf. I honestly felt so bad that somehow maybe it went wrong. Maybe the experiment wasn't successful and Super Wolf was not actually a Super Wolf, but I think I was wrong. Oh, no. Oh, God. Super Wolf is already moving on the spider. Super Wolf, you have to be careful. You only have 10 health. Let's have a little rematch with the zombie pigmen now. Okay, that went exactly as it did last time. I don't know what the... What, what was I thinking? Come back to me, Super Wolf. I don't know. How, how, did, how did you do it last time? Don't worry. This time we'll tag team him. I think Super Wolf is back to life. Okay, I will tank every single hit for Super Wolf. Yes, it's working, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. We're fist fighting. Super Wolf got the last hit. Let's go. So for whatever reason, spiders do not give Super Super Wolf any problems whatsoever. Like, that was so easy. So at the moment, Super Wolf pounces around like a little tiny insane puppy. Super Wolf, help. I'm I'm dying. I am I'm a damsel in distress. I, I might I might get eaten by a spider. I don't want to die today. Is it working? 
Okay, Super Wolf has responded to my call. And Super Wolf has now annihilated the spider. There are only two mobs left in the first training challenge of the day. Now, I haven't noticed any other abilities other than that Super Wolf can walk through physical objects like blocks and also my body. And also, you can't die. Super Wolf might actually be invincible, almost like Wolverine. But there is one final test, one more zombie pigment. As long as I take most of the attention, we should be able to take it down tag team style. Go ahead with the wonton bomb. We did it. Now, for whatever reason, I haven't noticed Super Dog getting any bigger or stronger, which is a little bit weird. Let's go ahead and grab the second challenges of the day. We have slimes, we have magma cubes, and we have super ugly creepers. Wait, hold up. Super Wolf doubled in health and now looks like an actual fully grown adult wolf. Hold on, let's do a little test of how powerful Super Wolf is now. When did you get a fire bite ability? <laughs> what? That was sick. Do it again. Do, do, do it again. Do it. Do it. Yes, fire. Fire. Let's go. That is insane. There's still a couple more. You got, you got, yep. Just bite them. You got a very spicy bite there, boy. Now these slimes have not done anything today. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a bunch. Super Wolf now does five attack damage. Also sets mobs on fire, which is brand new. That means Super Wolf is up to three different superhero abilities. And also mobs have not been able to damage our wolf, which is definitely cool, but also concerning. If Super Wolf decides to turn against me, I don't know if I could do anything. How about creepers? Most mobs, even wolves, will not attack creepers. Rightfully so, because creepers could potentially explode absolutely everything. Hey, Super Wolf. Sit. Oh, no way. No way. Super Wolf actually <laughs> annihilates creepers. You are now creeper eater. I'm just gonna need you to eat a few more creepers. There you go. No, no, do not get exploded. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, no! <laughs> I kind of saw that one coming. Super Wolf, I know you're not actually dead. You're, you're gonna come back to me, right? I can't lose Super Wolf. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, wolves should not attack creepers. That is, unless they are Super Wolf and can just immediately come back to life. So, ladies and gentlemen, Super Wolf is getting absolutely massive, and I don't really know how big it's gonna get or if it's gonna start getting explosive powers. So, to be safe, Bessie and I thought it would be best if if I took it thousands and thousands of blocks away from my house. Now we still need to definitely do some training. We are on the third round, which consists of witches, vindicators, and evokers. Let's see it, Super Wolf. One witch versus Super Dog. Oh gosh, okay. This thing is getting way too powerful. Let's try a vindicator. This normally does a ton of damage. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Who am I rooting for? The vindicator is basically about to die. Super Dog did take a ton of damage though. If you weren't so dumb and got stuck in this hole, maybe you could have won. But unfortunately for you, you are 1000% dead. I guess we could also try out an evoker. There is no way. Super Dog is going to be able to kill an Evoker. Okay, I am definitely gonna die today. No, no, I don't wanna be a part of this. I'm just supposed to be the, the dog trainer. Super Dog, what are you doing? Get your butt out of there. Kill this thing. Oh my gosh, Super Dog just yeeted him. I think he gained extra insane strength and knockback powers. Now, if only these stinking vexes could just chill for one second, I could actually see what's going on. Oh no, they're all going for Super Wolf now. Super Dog, I need you to actually kill this dude because he has so many vexes around him. It is insane. Super Super Dog is going after the Vexes. No, that's not what we should be doing. All of the different mobs are proving to be a little bit confusing for Super Dog. It doesn't know who to target. If it could just target this guy, we would not have a problem. And of course I died. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, he's still going for all of the Vexes. I have no idea why. Oh my gosh, he just jumped in the air and destroyed it. This dude's an absolute savage. Wow. Okay, he's definitely getting stronger by the minute. I'm not making that same mistake twice. So let's go ahead and keep everything on land. What are you fighting? You, you, you're fighting a death worm? What are you thinking? I guess he's thinking he's a super dog and basically can just yeet absolutely everything at this point. Especially the witches. These things stand no chance. Look at him go. He is a psycho. Now, let's bring it out of the water. Now, why are you going back into the water after a ginormous death worm when I am slowly getting poisoned to death? I do not appreciate it, big nose. Get back to shore, but, but, uh, or, or not. 
Where are you going now? Where could you? Okay, good. He was just faking me out. He did like a little 180 and then he scooted right back in on top of the witches. Now he is eating sand. Absolutely fantastic. Would you stop eating sand for two seconds and kill this thing? Where are you going now? Why do you like to eat the death worms? There is no way they taste that good. Why do I keep dying? Super Wolf abandoned me. Now I have to fight everything myself and I'm not even good. Bessie gave me no weapons. Wait a second. Super Wolf is back. Let's go. Destroy. Destroy. I'm not entirely sure where Super Wolf went. Oh, hey, Super Wolf. How you doing? Wait a second. Did you get even bigger than before? Hold on. I do not remember you having 80 health. And I also do not remember you almost being as tall as me. I'm starting to get really nervous here. <laughs> Let's test it out against one singular evoker. Wow. Okay, you gained so much extra strength. It is insane. You are like Mr. Incredible Wolf just throwing mobs around. You can also jump so much higher. Look at that. What? I have never seen a wolf do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and spawn in the last of the round. We only have three evokers and two more vindicators. Just, uh, just don't let me die, please. I don't wanna die. I've already died like 17 times today and it has not been fun. How do you jump so flippin' high? That is insane. It jumps so high that it actually takes fall damage. Super Wolves, you need to stop jumping so high. I don't think that can be good for your kneecaps. I will be body shield now that I've officially have a couple totems of, of undying. Okay, I ran out of one. Okay, I ran out of the other one. I need you to wrap this up, Super Wolf. Do not try to eat the cactus. It is, it is very delicious looking, but it does not taste good. Let's go move over to the next challenge, which is a werewolf, a bird, and a hunter. All right, Super Wolf. Um, guys, did 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 uh, um did uh, Super Super Wolf? Did you turn into Mega Wolf? I don't know if you guys can tell by my visible confusion, but this just blew my mind. All right, whatever. We're gonna work with it. I'm gonna assume that you are the same wolf, and you have evolved into like a giant wolf. Let's test it out. Okay, we have a hunter right here. I'm gonna punch the hunter. What? What, what, what you doing? What you, what you, oh, oh, that was a big mistake, Mr. Hunter. This is definitely our same super wolf. It obviously still loves to eat sand for dinner. Let's try out a Stymphalian bird. Oh, gosh. Hello. Hey, hey, I'm gonna need you to stop licking that sand block and maybe actually try to defeat this giant bird that's shooting porcupine quills at my face. Or we could just hide in this hole. I, I like this a little bit better, actually. Now, we also have a werewolf, which I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. Mega wolf does indeed destroy werewolves. Seems like it actually might be a nice little 1v1 going on here. The mega wolf takes a little bit of damage, but both of them have insane regen. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in two more werewolves, three werewolves versus my mega super wolf. Or, oh god, oh great, now I'm infected. Of course! One werewolf is almost down. We might as well also spawn in the hunters. Let's see if they'll fight. Oh my gosh, they are. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. No, never mind. Okay, the, the wolf all teamed up on the hunters and now the hunters are gone. And this dude's still chasing me. I have a bird. Watch out. Okay, the bird and the werewolf, they decide that they don't like me. Meanwhile, Super Mega Wolf decided he wanted to take a dip in the pond. I'm definitely gonna die, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a second, maybe not. The werewolf and the bird are fighting while Super Mega Wolf and the other werewolf are having a stalemate over there. I think they might actually be planning a picnic. Would somebody please tell me there was a werewolf chasing me? I've already been infected, man. Can you just not kill me, please? I just don't want to do this anymore. Nobody listens to me. Seems like the werewolf is a little bit preoccupied right now by the, the worms. Um, are you shooting out cookies? Wait a second. Wait, did you evolve again? There is absolutely no way you have an ability to shoot out cookies at other mobs. That is insane. You're so floofy, and I think you might be my new best friend. We definitely need to test out this last ability. This is so cool. Can you shoot cookies into my mouth? Right in here. I just, uh, oh, all right. They're, they're poisonous, probably, actually. Let's test those out against a stormtrooper. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, well, oh, that's doing a lot of damage. No, stop shooting Mega Wolf. Please. Well, okay. He's definitely shooting out cookie crisps. I'm trying to help him. No, I got melted. Oh my gosh. They're right back at it too. The problem is Mega Super Wolf cannot get close to the Stormtrooper. It just has too much firepower. Would you please stop? Can we work this out? He shoots out cookies from, I think, his eye socket. Um, I will trade you the cookies. Luckily, it seems like Mega Wolf has developed some sort of thick skin, so it can no longer get defeated by the Stormtrooper, but it also can't get too close. Whoa, it's shooting out cookies. Okay. I, I, no, I don't want to die. There we go. Just Get your stinking ugly butt over there and get shot by cookies. I got melted again. There we go. Come on, we're so close. Just keep shooting your poisonous cookies. Yes. 
Mega Super Wolf did it. Look at all these cookies. Oh, I'm getting pretty hungry. Let's try out another one. Psycho Steve. Hello, Mr. Steve. Wow. Okay, you just got absolutely yeeted. Oh, no. Psycho Steve does not stand a chance. Even though he has a ginormous chainsaw, it is over. Mega Super Wolf is just too big. Hello, fellas. How's it going? I'm going to need to take over this cave. Uh, Mega Super Wolf. Hello, me me Mega Super, Super Mega Wolf. Uh, all right, I'm dead. Let's try this one more time with help from Super Wolf. No, oh, you don't feel like helping me this time either. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. There we go. Now you're raining cookies down. <laughs> this is so weird to watch. I have never seen a mob that spits out cookies as a superpower. There's only a few more mobs left in this round. I'm gonna just spawn them all in. Okay, we got those guys. We got the Doom Storm, Storm Troopers. Okay, there's a lot of guys going on down there. <laughs> I think they actually shot the sand and somehow <laughs> caused an avalanche. I feel terrible. Wow, this is, uh, this is a really bad way to go out um it's their own fault though so i don't feel too bad next round we have three boulder sprites wait mega wolf got even bigger again let's go look at him he now has 250 health and i think the cookies now explode yep de definitely yep they're explosive cookies I still have a weird urge to eat them, and I'm not sure if that's healthy. These boulders are literally flinging themselves around at Mega Super Wolf, but it is not doing any damage. They have insane resistance, though, against the cookie explosions. Uh, they are definitely going to die, though. Let's go ahead and add in 10 minnow shrooms. These each have 120 health, and I have no idea if Mega Super Wolf is going to be able to stand a chance. I do not stand a chance, though. That's the thing. Mega Wolf is tearing through these things left and right. It does a melee attack which has insane strength and also the powerful explosive cookies do a ton of damage this guy he completely evacuated his entire minnow shroom family and honestly i don't blame him the minnow shrooms are going berserk it is an absolute brawl in there i don't know how you keep getting bigger and stronger and even bigger but uh i have another challenge for you please don't hate me let's do it it is Morocco, the sun chief who I think is 1,000% going to get pooped on. Even though he does have the powers of the sun, uh, yeah, Mega Wolf does not seem to be super affected by it. I think he actually likes it. And just like that, the Sun Chief is now dead. We do only have three more rounds of challenges left. I'm honestly a little bit worried to see how big Mega Wolf will be by the end of today's video. All right, let's see. The next challenges are... Whoa, whoa, Mega Wolf, I think, just doubled in size again. Just for a size comparison, look at me. I can fit under Mega Wolf's legs. Let's see it. We have three Naga challenges. Mega Wolf is annihilating all of them at the same time. This is honestly unreal. Mega Super Wolf may, at the end of today's episode, be my strongest pet ever. One Naga boss is about to fight the dust. Two Naga bosses are down. There is legit only one more left. I am extremely glad to have Mega Super Wolf on my side. If I had to fight this thing, I would probably cry. Now, we also have two Alpha. Alpha Yetis, these things really want to hug my face. Lucky for me, Mega Super Wolf does not want that to happen. Oh, stop crying, you big baby. Oh, never mind. You should probably, yeah, I, I would cry if I were you. Oh, wait a second. The other Alpha Yeti is actually freezing Mega Super Wolf. Stop dancing on him. Stop it. You're going to regret that. I need to help out. Okay, let's just punch your kneecaps a little bit. Okay, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to die. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what our wolf needed. These explosive cookie attacks are getting even bigger and stronger by the second. Let's go ahead and spawn in the last of round number two. We have so many ginormous Pecro Jack clones. Each one of these giants only has 80 health, so I think our Mega Wolf should be able to make quick work of them. Sorry, bro. Yeah, you're on the wrong side of this battle. Look at the size of the cookies that Mega Wolf is spitting out. They are massive. I think they're as big as my body. Oh, there's an Enderman. That Enderman, yeah, no, Enderman, I would, uh, no, do not try to fight me. Seriously, you, no, you're gonna, you're gonna die. You're you're definitely gonna die. I can guarantee that this is not a good idea for you, dude. It's dodging the cookies left and right, and it's still coming after me. It's teleporting all over. This is actually one of the best battles yet. Oh, ne never mind. Yeah, it uh, it kind of got yeeted by Mega Wolf's back left foot. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the final two rounds of the day. Let's go ahead and spawn in the last 
yes, guys, we have two dreadful peat mummies. Let's see these bad boys. Wait, yo, okay, these each have 550 health, but I think the mega wolf turned into Wolfie the Cookie God? What is this? It's a dude, it has 1,000 health, 1,000 health. There is no way, there is no way this is happening. My entire screen is shaking. I have no idea what to do. I have lost control of this situation, ladies and gentlemen. Wolfie the Cookie God is now, I think, the strongest pet I have ever had. It is surrounded by undead mummies and it has not lost any health. Meanwhile, I am playing Ring Around the Rosie with this one mummy who really wants to eat my toenails. They're not even that juicy, dude. Trust me. I tried them one time. This is also why I did not want to do any battles near my house because my entire house would have looked like this. One mummy down, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one more right down there. Oh, and Wolfie is right in. Another one down. This is insane. Bessie also wants to try the super mega Wolfie cookie god against six ginormous Cyclops. I honestly think we know exactly how this is going to go. They are all teaming up, which is such a bad idea idea because the explosive cookies are damaging all of them at the same time. Wolfie just pretty much ate them all for dinner. We have three final challenges, ladies and gentlemen. These are the toughest Minecraft bosses that I could get my hands on. If there is anything else you do want to see Wolfie the Cookie God go up against in a future episode, leave a comment down below. And if you made it to this far in the video, go check out the merch. Techprojack.co. Use code Bessie for 10% off. Meanwhile, I think Wolfie just made quick work of Frost Mall, so we also have the Hydra Boss. Now, as long as Wolfie goes for just the body and not the heads, he should not have to worry about dealing with a ton of different Hydra heads. Or you can just go for absolutely everything and don't even care about what I'm saying right now. It seems like you have it under control. The fact that Wolfie is also almost as big as the Hydra Boss is a little bit scary. For just a size comparison, this is a normal wolf. Once Wolfie's done with the Hydra, I'm guessing Wolfie will come over here. Hopefully, he does not eat the tiny little baby wolf. Okay, seems like they're friendly. But look, I think the normal wolf is about the size of Wolfie's paw. The last challenge we have, which I don't even think is going to be a challenge, is the Yurgast. Oh my gosh, with one single cookie explosion. Literally, oh, what? Yeah, I, yeah, I just turned into a werewolf. Honestly, that is a great way to end off today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Wolfie the cookie. Cookie God is legit the strongest pet ever. At least the strongest wolf pet. I have seen no other Minecraft wolf be this big, this powerful, and have so many superhero abilities. Today, I logged back into my Minecraft world, said hi to my pet plant, Toe Chomper, fed my wolf pack, then went down to my laboratory to see what we had in store. I found out my robot Rodney stole lots of cookies since I haven't been here in a while, and I also discovered an experiment called K1TTY. There were ocelots inside, so I wanted to check it out. What the heck are these things? Oh, sweet, a button. I wonder what this does. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Oh my God! Whoa, okay, what, uh, where, hello? <laughs> what just happened? Um, wait a second, am I in a Roman Colosseum? Wait, there's a kitty! Wait, it said super kitty. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. Did, did did Bessie create an experiment where she combined all of those cats together to create a super kitten? Hold up, hold up. Wait, oh my gosh. Wait, I can tame it with catnip. Wait, this reminds me. A couple months ago, Bessie did something similar with dogs. Super Kitty is going to be the best pet ever. Wait a second. If we're in a giant coliseum, there has to be a way to train Super Kitty. Let's go check out what's over here. Whoa, we have different rounds of mob fights. What does this do? Do we have mobs? This place is massive. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. We have mobs. Ladies and gentlemen, we can train Super Kitty. If this is anything like the super dog that she created a while back, Super Kitty can actually evolve. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's a tarantula. It attacks Super Kitty. Super Kitty is amazing. What do we have here? We have a Yeti. Whoa, Super Kitty just jumped on its head. Yo, this is actually sick. Super Kitty, you are super cute, but also super deadly. Luckily, Super Kitty is on my team. Super Kitty, more mobs are spawning. We have to fight them. Oh my gosh, now we have silverfish, tarantulas, yetis. Oh, dude, where are they coming from? Luckily, I can help out Super Kitty. I don't want to do too much because I would love for Super Kitty to eventually evolve. Why is this yeti carrying a tarantula? That is terrifying. Bro, Super Kitty needs my help. She, she only has 10 health. Dude, <laughs> put me down, bro. Okay, I'm actually working as a great distraction for Super Kitty. She's just going around and pouncing on these different creatures. They don't even notice her because she's literally th like the size of my foot. Yeah, I hear little foots. Now I'm 
hoping after each and every round, Super Kitty will be able to evolve into something bigger. The only thing is, Minecraft doesn't have anything larger than an ocelot, and uh, yeah, I, I guess that could be the max size of Super Kitty, but we'll have to find out. We're almost through round one. Be sure to stick until the end to see what Super Kitty ends up being in its final evolution. We have one more blue and white yeti with ginormous teeth. No, please, dude, please, don't, don't pick me up, bro. Super Kitty will annihilate your face. I'm pretty sure that's the rest of round one, but let's go double check just to make sure. Okay, I hit the button again and nothing happened. What? Here are you. And what did you do with Super Kitty? Wait a second. I think it actually worked. Super Kitty has evolved into Mega Kitty. Mega Kitty has 20 health and is, is just, is now a Jaguar. Or maybe a Cheetah. I always get those two confused. Comment down below what Mega Kitty actually is. Here we go, round number two. Let's test out Mega Kitty. Okay, it looks like she still likes me. Oh, bro, jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, chill, 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 chill. What are these things? They're so fast and deadly. Ew, dude, we have Velociraptors. No flipping way. Mega Kitty looks so tiny. Mega Kitty's gonna have to get a lot bigger. Dude, why do they want to kill me? Mega Kitty, dude, please get away from me. Okay, chill, 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 please. D this is this is going poorly. Mega Kitty cannot keep up with the aliens. Okay, luckily Mega Kitty has taken away some of the Velociraptors and has also eaten them whole. That's slightly concerning. If Mega Kitty decides to turn on me, I am most certainly going to die. But luckily, Mega Mega Kitty seems to uh, be doing a splendid job and is also close to dying. Wait a second. That's not good. But Mega Kitty, it looks like right now, does six attack damage and can also regen super fast during battle. Dude, that's nuts. And she's eating the Velociraptors in one singular bite. Okay, let's go sneak up on the rest of the round two creatures. I think over here we have King Spiders who are hiding. Are you a little nervous to fight Mega Kitty? Don't worry, I would be too. Uh, what, what, are, you, what, are, what, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, Mega Kitty's over there. She's fighting a minotaur. Go, Mega Kitty. Go. Go, Mega Kitty. Kill him. Kill him. Eat his butt. Eat the spider legs. Burn the spider legs with fire. Whenever I see a spider in my house, I grab my handy dandy flamethrower and burn the entire thing down. I'm not sure what you guys do. Comment down below. Round number two, I believe, has been completed. Let's check out. Oh my gosh. I was going to check for more mobs, but Mega Kitty has gotten slightly larger. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, yeah, Mega Kitty used to be like here, and now Fire Kitty has has doubled in size. It's most likely because she digested the Velociraptors from last round. And uh, apparently she also has fire powers. She's turned into the human, well, I guess not the human torch. She's turned into the kitty torch. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, Fire Kitty, let's go see what round three has to offer. Everything at this point has been super easy for Kitty to kill. She's been ravaging through them and demolishing them. What is that? Oh, flip. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What? What did we just get ourselves into? And I died. I, I literally just combusted. Uh, Fire Kitty, how's everything going over there? Is, is, okay, yeah, it looks like you got this under, under control, right? No? Okay, you're just gonna let them kill me? Great. Wait a second, Fire Kitty's killing the T-Rex. She actually ate one and then ate its entire body. Fire Kitty's an absolute fire savage, but she's about to die. No, no, wait, wait, Fire Kitty, stay back, stay back. Oh my gosh, I literally cannot command her. She just goes in for fighting no matter what. I need to grab my armor before anything bad happens. Don't mind if I do, just gonna put on my pants, my, uh, my, my shields, and my, uh, my legs. That totally made sense. No, Fire Kitty! Fire Kitty is right on top of the ginormous fat man! Dude, she's getting blasted, but she does not care! Luckily, she has the most insane regen out of any sort of creature or pet that I've tamed. Bro, she just annihilated the entire Naga boss and is eating this last guy. I'm sorry, man. You got eaten alive. Um, Kitty? Oh. Oh, hey, hey, Kitty. It looks like you got a little bit bigger there, kitty. This is actually super cool. I mean, no pun intended, but it kind of was intended. Fire Kitty has now completely done a 180 and has become Ice Kitty and has also gained, uh, yeah, lots, lots more mass. Um, I don't even know if this is a kitty anymore. This is like a lion. Ice Kitty, let's see what round four has to offer. I'm really hoping Ice Kitty can just power through these because I need to see what the last evolution is going to be. We have two ginormous frost bees. 
Ice Kitty is taking lots of damage. That's probably because I'm using Ice Kitty as a body shield. Oh, oh my gosh, you just got hit by a rocket. Okay, my objective will be taking out the gun, guys. Ice Kitty, I need you to deal with that. That was terrifying. Ice Kitty, you're doing great. I'm gonna keep a distance of about 600 feet because that's what the president told me to do. Okay, oh, we're just gonna, we're gonna stay over here. No way, no way he sees me. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, how you doing? Nope, it's not me here. I'm gonna hide over here. Over in this uh, hallway here. Why would I get going for me, bro? Chill, chill. Okay, Ice, Ice Kitty, now's your time to shine. I'm currently getting spawn trapped. Ice Kitty, seriously, Ice Kitty, I know you're doing your bestest, but you gotta, you gotta use your ice blocks to kill them a little quicker here. There we go. There we go, bro. Ice Kitty just literally yeeted that guy. For some reason, though, even though the round's over, um, Ice Kitty has not evolved. I'm not sure if this is Ice Kitty's final form. Oh, oh, it, it could be because there's a bunch of T-Rexes over there. Um, are they sleeping or are they dead? I don't know, Ice Kitty, let's go check it out. Hey, everybody, how's everybody doing? Um, why is there just a pile of T-Rexes? Ice Kitty, investigate or eat them. This is actually probably fantastic food for a ginormous ice lion. Whoa, oh my gosh, she's, she's getting bit. That's okay though, Ice Kitty is slowing down the T-Rex with her ice bites, and I think she can also shoot out ice blocks. Oh my gosh, she did. Okay, she hasn't evolved quite yet, but I'm pretty sure if she eats all of the T-Rexes, it should work. Wait a second, is she, wait. Oh my gosh, I knew it, she could shoot out ice blocks. That's so sick. Okay, looks like all of the Tyrannosaurus Rexes have been eaten. Um, hey, how's it going? <laughs> we have Super Mega Kitty of destruction uh, bro this is this is super cool and also slightly uh, terrifying at the same time uh let's just get a little size comparison here as you guys can see um yeah i am extremely small compared to uh mega super kitty of destruction but it seems like kitty still likes me as an owner for the time being nobody tell her that she was part of a, a an experiment by my cow bessie that might mess things up a little bit but there is still one more round to get through round number five let's see what mega kitty can do bro we got an ice dragon oh gosh i'm dead oh my gosh i'm dead oh my gosh i'm dead super mega kitty now's the time to do super mega things because i'm getting roasted alive here bro we also have demons you have to be kidding me i can't even see super mega kitty 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 hello i got some catnip oh my gosh wait one dragon is dead also, wait a second, I just realized I'm not dying. Super Mega Kitty has given me infinite resistance and also saturation, so I'm pretty much invincible when I'm around her. This is unreal. Look at Super Mega Kitty of a destruction go. Wait a second, she's actually taking a lot of damage from these demons. Uh, I'll do my best to help. Actually, I don't even think I need to help. You are barely at half health and everything just got roasted alive. I honestly think that was way too easy. Oh, we got one more guy over here. What's up, bro? Uh, Super Mega Kitty, remember me? Yeah, the guy that fed you some catnip, please kill. <laughs> yes, I think she does like 50 damage. Before we do end off today's episode, I just want to try one of each round. Round two, three, four, and five. Let's see how quickly they can be annihilated. This is crazy. Look at Mega Kitty in there. Yo, Mr. Dragon, chill, bro. I'm trying to watch my, my Mega Kitty Cat. Even though I don't think I can call her a kitty cat anymore. That is that is a super lion. She literally eats Tyrannosaurus Rexes and dinosaurs for dinner. Look at this. She, she's taking on a full-size fire dragon and just does not care. And she won. With ease, too. It wasn't even difficult. And she can summon lightning. And do what the heck? She could throw out mega potions? I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is getting just out of hand. She got stronger as the battle kept going on and unlocked even more abilities that I didn't even know she had. All hail Super Mega Kitty of Destruction. Bessie, are you sure this is a good idea? Um, last time we did this, we almost blew up the entire laboratory. <laughs> Well, okay, I mean, if you say so, I guess we're gonna do it. So ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the testing chamber. Inside you will see we have another baby wolf, which you guys might remember we did something similar two weeks back. This experiment is going to be a tad bit different though. 
Bessie has combined the DNA of a werewolf with this little tiny baby wolf. So if this goes as planned, by the end of today, I should have a super werewolf pet. Now, in order for this to all work together, I need the power of like buttons. So if you guys could go kindly tap the like button with your elbow, that will help us out so much. All right, cool. If you guys did it, let's go ahead in three, two, one, activate. Oh my God, yo! Oh, that was crazy. Wait, did you guys hear that? Hold on. If we check inside, it worked. It worked! Look at this! We have a little tiny baby rabid werewolf! Bessie, your experiment worked! Let's go! Um, wait, Bessie, Bessie, I, I think, hey, hey, Bessie, we might be locked in here. I can't hit the lever. Yo, Jeff, Jeff, let us out. I'll give you cookies! Oh, wait a second! The wolf just broke down the door! Oh, he's attacking scientists. This is bad. Bessie, you have created another monster. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. I managed to get our little tiny baby werewolf up to the ground level of my house. And it looks so happy. Look at him. He has ginormous teeth. He has huge paws and a huge tail too. Now at the moment, our baby little tiny werewolf only has 10 health. But just like Wolfie the Cookie God from a few episodes ago, I think we can evolve our baby werewolf. Now you just wait right here, buddy. No, 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 no. I said you got you gotta wait right here. Do not attack anything. Do not eat anybody. You can bite Rodney. That's about it. I'm sure this little guy is super hungry. So let's go ahead and feed him just a little chicken. Do you like to eat chicken? Whoa, whoa. What are those particle effects? Hold on, wait a second. He just tore through that chicken. Let's try a fake Bessie. So little tiny baby werewolf, you eat these. These are very bad. Other than the real Bessie. Don't eat Bessie because she'll probably turn you into werewolf dust. For whatever reason, our baby werewolf doesn't want to kill the cow. What about a pig? Do you like to eat bacon? Oh, oh, I feel bad for bacon. Bacon just got bit in the butt. Run, bacon! No, nah, bacon is going to be baby werewolf food today. Now, Bessie told me as we keep feeding our baby werewolf stronger and stronger mobs, it should eventually grow into a full-size werewolf and then might even gain new abilities. It seems like your favorite out of all of those were little chickens. So let's keep feeding you tiny, tiny, tiny chickens. He loves it. Look at him go. He's definitely super slow, but I think as he gets bigger, he'll get extremely fast. Let's go see if Bessie has any other mobs that she wants to train on the baby werewolf. It looks like we have some zombie pigmen to feed to our now juvenile werewolf. Are you guys seeing this right? Just after eating, what was that, five full-size chickens, this guy became massive. I think he just absorbed the chickens. Okay, you're getting super big. You are now up to 25 health and you are massive. It's even bigger than a normal wolf. Let's see what happens if I spawn in a chicken now. That is a one bite chomp right down its stomach. What about a pig? Can you one bite a pig? Let's see. Uh, oh no. Okay, so he only does four attack damage, which is enough to kill a chicken, but it still takes a little bit to kill a pig. I'm starting to get worried that this dude is becoming too big and powerful. Let's see how he does against a zombie pigman. This guy can actually fight back. Oh no. Oh no, he's actually getting hit. Oh, wait a second. Come on, one more hit. Yo, he is extremely powerful already. Now he only is a juvenile werewolf, which leads me to believe that he has so much more groom to grow into an adult and maybe even further. Now, just to play it safe, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and take our juvenile werewolf over to my battle training arena, just so we can see how powerful it becomes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the battle training arena. We have our juvenile werewolf in the center and I had Bessie set up a bunch of different rounds. The first round is called Baby Noob. We have creepers, skeletons, Skeletons, zombies, and shulkers. Let's just start out nice and simple with one shulker. Oh, oh, he's already biting. No, 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 no. You're gonna get flung up into outer space, buddy. No, dude, come on. Come back down. Come back down. Shulker, stop it. This is terrible. This is terrible. He's gaining a lot of his health back every single hit, but I think as soon as he falls down, as long as I catch him, he might be okay. Yo, why are you shooting me now? You crazy? Die, die. Ew, dude, you make really weird sounds. Maybe I could take the attention off of our little tiny baby werewolf. Yes, I think it's working. Come on, last hit. Boom, he got him. Oh no, now he's gonna get flung up into outer space again. Somehow he survived. Okay, he's back down. We need to get rid of these things. Next up, let's do a normal baby zombo. Oh, <laughs> why do you look so 
funky. Hey, hey, werewolf. What are you doing over here? Are you, wait, how are you killing mobs through the wall? Is that one of his powers? I honestly don't know, but he is tearing through this zombie right now. We might as well just go ahead and spawn in all of the zombies. Help, help me, baby little werewolf. Oh, wait, never mind. I think I'm okay. I'm way faster than these plebs. I'm seriously gonna need some assistance. Don't get your head out of the lava. What are you looking at? No, you're gonna get hit to the lava. Are you crazy? Somehow he survived the lava. I honestly think he might have fire resistance, but he is moving in. He's tearing through the zombies. We have so many more over here, buddy. Buddy, hey, hey, buddy, bu uh, buddy. We, we're getting over on here by a zombie apocalypse, and you're over here staring at a wall. There's only a few more left, so I think he should be able to take them all out. Chop his face. Get him. Bite the spleen. There's only two more left. Let's go. Go for the toes. They do not like it when you bite their toes. Trust me. I know from firsthand experience. Next up, little wolfie, we have a creeper. Let's see how you do. Are you going to attack the creeper? I might need you to attack the creeper. No, 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 no. Don't let it explode. How about a skeleton? Do you attack skeletons? Yes, he definitely does. Are you running away from the skeleton? Do not run into the lava. He's definitely extremely powerful already, but our werewolf Wolf still needs a ton of work. Oh, there we go. He's finally attacking. And he hit him straight into the lava. Creepers, on the other hand, are a no-go. Our werewolf attacks a lot of things, but not creepers. Let's go ahead and spawn in the last of the skeletons, and I also want to spawn in the shulkers. I'm spawning them in way over here, though. Yes! It looks like the shulkers are actually hitting the skeletons with their levitation potions, which is perfect. Our little tiny baby werewolf can get in there, and he can attack all the skeletons without having to worry about getting levitated. I think the last of the skeletons Yep, just got yeeted down. Nice. No, he's getting levitated, buddy. Come back down. Oh, no, he's growling. That is very rude to you, little tiny baby shulker. I actually, I don't think you're a baby, but you look like a baby's butt. Yes, he's moving in. Come on, a couple more hits. As soon as he opens up, he is going to die. Yes. No, no, no. No, no, don't levitate him. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, he teleported. Boom, he's down. Uh, uh, werewolf, buddy. No, 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 don't. Oh, yes, he teleported back down. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab the next round, which is round pro baby. In this round, we have one of each mutant creatures. What? In the name of what? What is this? Did you turn into a fire <laughs> werewolf? Yo, that is the coolest thing ever. Hold on. Let's see if you have fire powers. Oh my gosh. He went straight in. Snout first and everything. Me and Snow Golem, you should run for your life. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is so sick. Our werewolf has evolved to become even bigger, has a brand new fire evolution, and sets everything around him to flames. Look at him go. Okay, we have two mutants in here. Now, our fire werewolf only has 60 health, but it looks like he regens pretty quickly. Now, let's see what happens if he also gets hit into the fire. I think he should have some resistance. Come on, move in, buddy. It looks like they're super low. Yes, he hit the creeper into the fire. Creeper's going down. I don't know. Can he survive the creeper explosion, though? He's gonna pull everything in. I need to stay away. Let's see it. Oh, he did. And it exploded the skeleton. That was sick. Next up, we have the mutant zombie, which I think this fire werewolf will do so well against because he literally sets a zombie on fire and zombies hate fire. Oh no, he's getting smashed. No, no, no. I think he might actually die. No way. No way. No. Why, why did you do that? Why would you do that? You killed firewolf. No, fire werewolf, buddy, get up. Whoa, did he hear me? Wait, does he have invincibility powers? No way. This is not only a werewolf. This is not only a fire werewolf. This is a super fire werewolf of amazingness. Look at that. He just got yeeted again. Does he have nine lives? Is he a cat? Oh no, I'm definitely not a cat though. I'm gonna die. He got straight back up. He's moving right back into battle. He does not care. Look at him go. He is demolishing this mutant zombie. And because he's on fire, he'll go straight down. Or maybe not. He got back up. That is not fair. Technically, fire werewolf has been doing the same thing, so I guess they're pretty even. Finish them all, fire werewolf. Come on. Only a few more hits should do the trick. Okay, he's down. He's on fire. He's probably going to get back up. Fire werewolf is back to full 60 health, though. Meanwhile, I might as well go ahead and spawn in the last mutant of round pro baby, the mutant enderman. They are all surrounding fire werewolf. I can't tell. Oh, gosh, the zombie just spawned in so many minions. Fire werewolf is in the mix, though. He is so tiny. 
Whoa, he jumped up after the mutant Enderman. That was so cool. Wait a second, are they teaming up together? It looks like it. And down he goes again. I'm honestly getting a little bit worried that Fire Werewolf is going to die so many times today that he's just not going to get back up one time. After this round, if we are going by the last round, he should evolve again. Now, I'm hoping that he has more room for evolution. It seems like he is getting stronger and stronger by the minute. Look at him go, dude. He is chasing this teleporting mutant around. Floofster, you could do a little floofy. Floof him up. Floof him. Floof him. Get him. Oh, he got him. It worked. Back up. Do not let him explode, you. All right, well, you didn't listen to me, did you? Somehow he's surviving the ginormous explosion of the mutant Enderman. And just like that, we're on two round boinky babies. In this round, we have Velociraptors. We have the Sun Chief. We have Dread Beasts. We have Nagas, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a Frost Maul. This is going to be insanely difficult. He evolved again. He has become a mega werewolf. Wait a second. I just realized he's no longer standing on all four legs. He is massive. Look at him stand next to me. He's huge. All right, big boy. Let's see how you do against the Velociraptor. Oh, gosh. Wait, did he just... Did you guys see that? Is he shooting out flaming balls of fire and he's also pouncing with fire fang abilities this is insane this is unheard of the velociraptor doesn't even know what to do boom down it goes let's try out the sun chief and see how he does gunja ganja gunja okay i think i maybe insulted him in his own language ganja gunja ganja aye, 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 aye. maybe you don't like my mega werewolf do you mega werewolf go goo goo gaga him goo goo gaga him run mega werewolf get in there you're just accepting this he is just absorbing the hits look at it i don't know if he's using it as power because technically all of these hits are coming from the sun i honestly don't know he is attacking the minions though which is definitely promising but he's still not attacking the main guy baracko and every time we get close we get flung back look at it he almost likes it i can't tell this is so weird the attention has been taken off mega werewolf whoa wait a second he's Somebody in another fire werewolf? How did you do that? Wait, you spawned in a werewolf too? What? 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 You did not tell me, Mega Werewolf, that you could spawn in more tinier werewolves. Whatever you guys do, do not team up on me. This is the most insane wolf pack army I have ever seen, other than maybe the one that I have. Wait, are they communicating together? Let's see how they do against a dread beast. Oh my gosh, they're all moving in together. That is so sick. They're communicating and attacking as a group. I wonder how many different werewolf pets our Mega Werewolf pet can spawn in. Let's try out a Nagaball. Boss. This thing flies, so I'm not entirely sure how they're going to attack it. Maybe like that. They're 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 jumping all over it. Mega Werewolf didn't even have to do anything. His minions did it all. How about a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Let's see how they do. Oh my gosh. So Mega Werewolf is shooting projectiles. Meanwhile, his other two minion werewolves are surrounding it. And why is it still coming after me? Get it away. Stop it. Stop it. I am not lunch. Oh, they hit him into the lava pool. It is game over for this ginormous beast. Down he goes. This is entire wolf army is legendary. Let's try out the last challenge, which is a frost maul. Oh my gosh, the little tiny fire werewolf is already moving in. This dude over here is looking directly at the wall. Oh, never mind. They're in battle. Oh, why did I get frozen? Why does he not go for the three werewolves that are biting all of his fingers? Really? Again? Really? Luckily, it seems like they are taking care of business. He's already down to half health. Dude, you gotta stop freezing me. Why is he hitting me? You're gonna die. If you keep trying to freeze me and not freeze the werewolves that are biting you consistently, you will die. I honestly don't care anymore. We have our mega werewolf. We have the werewolf minions. Life is great. Now, the only thing I am curious about, because we have one more round left, is if our mega werewolf can evolve any more times. The frost ball is down. Let's go see what we have for the final round, which is just called death. For the final battle, we have... What are you? How did you get so big? Oh, uh, get it away. Get it away. Get away from me. I don't know if that thing is my pet or what, but get it away from me. Ladies and gentlemen, what is this? Look at it. Wait, it says Fire Fang, King of the Werewolves. All right, Mr. Fire Fang, let's see if you have reached your final form with an armored giant. Oh, how many fireballs did you just shoot out? Dude, look at him go. He can just sit back and shoot massive fireballs that do tons of damage. Dude, dude, that is so cool. Let's try out a Naga Boss. Let's see how they do. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot imagine if Fire Fang and Wolfie the Cookie God teamed up together. That would be the best combination ever. If you guys do want to see that, go ahead and leave a comment down below that says hashtag cookies and leave a like. If we can hit 25,000 likes, I'll definitely do it. They immediately tore through that knockout.
Naga. Let's try an Alpha Yeti. They have such a great tactic. The little tiny minion werewolves move in. They literally absorb every single hit. Meanwhile, Fire Fang could just summon in more, or he could just shoot them with ginormous explosive fireballs. Let's see what happens if we spawn a guy near Fire Fang while he's fighting. Oh, he's getting stomped on. Oh, oh, he did not like that. Did not like that one bit. I just realized Fire Fang is almost as tall as this ginormous 15 block tall Cyclops, and he annihilated it so fast. Uh, I guess let's try out a, a, a Hydra next. I honestly don't think there's anything that can take all of our wolf army down. We have fire werewolf moving in. He is just pecking them with his ginormous teeth. We have our werewolf over here who is pouncing up at their head. And then there's fire fang shooting fireballs right back at the hydra. And then there's me doing pretty much absolutely nothing. They are destroying this guy though. For whatever reason, the hydra boss is focused on me. Meanwhile, there are two tiny wolves jumping all over his body while fire fang shoots him point blank with super explosive fireballs. This is just a dream come true. Just to spice it up, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a fire dragon. That is super tiny. Let's spawn in an actual big fire dragon and a big ice dragon just to see the chaos that happens. Don't eat me. Stop trying to eat me. Please stop trying to eat me. I'm just a little kid. I don't even taste that good. I'm, I'm half rotten. Fire Fang, buddy, you look very confused. I need you to attack. Whoa! Fire Fang was just frozen for a second. The ice dragon has gone down. There still is the tiny ice dragon. I don't think it stands a chance, though. And somehow, our little little werewolves have stayed alive this entire time. The Hydra boss is almost down. Five health left. Boom! Interrupt down! It looks like Fire Fang is stuck over here in ice spikes. It does not matter though. He is shooting out ginormous fireballs at this final fire dragon. And boom, down it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Our werewolf army is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to wrap it up. We have officially fully trained our little tiny baby werewolf to become one of the scariest creatures ever, Fire Fang, the king of werewolves. He is extremely powerful. He could summon in minions. He could shoot out fireballs. He is literally resistant to any sort of fire damage. This guy, plus his minions, plus Wolfie the Cookie God, might be the most insane combo ever. If you guys do want to see a video with all of them together, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe so you guys do not miss out on that video when it comes out. And comment some bosses that you think they should go up against. That is going to wrap it up though, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beckbro Werewolf Master Jack, and I will hopefully see you guys all back again here very soon for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did enjoy that video, go ahead and subscribe so you guys do not miss out on future videos or click on one of these videos that I know you will enjoy. Thanks.